Okay, so now my Bell Canada business line is now working. Now, if you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, go look at my other previous blogs. David Bronstein loves Bell Canada, or why David Bronstein loves Bell Canada, because this is a 26-part series. But you're looking at part three. I think this is part three now. Of, of last Friday, Bell turned off my phone line. I said, why did you turn off my phone line? I thought it was broken or something. They said, we turned it off because you owe $500. I said, why do I owe $500? I just paid $242 in August. It's now September. How can I have so much long this? Well, we can't tell you right now. We're very busy. We have other customers. Give us a $500. I said, Andrea, get me the hell out of Bell. I, I can't take it anymore. So Saturday wasn't working. Sunday wasn't working. I don't do business those days anyway. I don't go near the phone or near, near the computer. I don't do anything like that. So Monday... In between there, when, when this happened, I got in touch with a, a very good friend of mine named Jeff Hayes, who's a big shot at Bell Canada. Or so he says he's a big shot. I don't even know who the hell he is. So he got in touch with me. He said, Dave, I'm a big fan of yours. I love you. I adore you. You're the greatest. You're the hottest. You're the coolest. I think he got in touch with me through Facebook. If there any problems you need, you get in touch with me. I'm going to get it done right away. Terrific. I said, Jeff, you're the greatest in the world because I try to get in touch with Sonny Spanton and Jeff and Kevin Kroll and Janet Underdown and Anthony Wisdom. Anthony Wisdom who got in touch with me in January. He said, Dave, I'm going to go see the president. I'll call you right back. He's going to see the president being inaugurated. That was in January. I'm still waiting for the call. January, February. March, April, May, June, July. Anthony, if you're there when you call, so wait for your call. Nobody got in touch. Then I called two other executives. The executives are so big executives. I called one executive. I can't even figure out her name. I don't know what the hell her name is. I, 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 what? It's one executive I called. She said, she's away till the 21st. I said, great. She said, if you have any problems, call my other colleague. You call the other colleague. She's away till the 25th. This is, nobody walked up Bell Canada. I'm, I'm telling you, Bell Canada is wrong when you put those things in the wall, like those operators you see in 1920, when you, that, or, or two cans with a string. Nobody's there, but it just, Jeff Hayes, my wonderful, dearest executive of Bill Canada, guy said, Dave, don't you worry about a thing. I got it all taken care of. I said, thank God. I said, Andrea, Jeff is taking care of everything. Great. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the phone wasn't working. Finally, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, last night, Wednesday, Jeff says, Dave, don't worry. I'm still on top of it. <laughs> I'm still, I'm in touch with people. I got lots of friends in Toronto because Jeff is in Vancouver. I'm getting to the bottom of this. So, Jeff, if you're watching, I already paid the $500. I already got the phone turned on two days ago. But, God, I'm still waiting for you. If, if Dave, don't. If, 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 <laughs> I appreciate, Jeff, all the work you're trying to do for me. Still talk to your friends. So, um, but I'm switching already. I'm, sw I'm already switching to Rogers because here's the nutty thing. Every month, I've been paying my phone bill $130 a month, $120 a month. The bill tells me in August $160 a month. I said, how could my phone bill be $160 a month? Where am I calling every day? Am I calling Russia, Afghanistan, uh, another solar system? Where the hell am I calling that it could be $160 a month? Well, your, your local bill is $89 a month. Who pays $89 a month now for a local and long distance? You charge it to 60 You know, long distance, I said this in the previous blogs. Long distance is a quarter penny, two of a cent of a penny, a third, a third of a penny. So I've been an idiot all these years staying with Bell because I've been lazy. And other services, my friend said, Dave, I pay $2 a month. I get unlimited long distance, $20 a month. My friend said, Dave, I'll give it to you for $17 a month. He has a whole company, a long distance company, $17 a month. So I called Rogers, another service company here. They're charging me $63 a month. Unlimited long distance across Canada and the United States. I remember 20 years ago, my mother in Philadelphia said, Dave, we have a new plan. Unlimited long distance. Here I'm paying $0.05 cents a minute, $0.02 cents a minute, $0.12 cents a minute, $1.50 a minute. I'm, I got a thought. I got to keep putting coins in, like, like in 1962. How much for $4 for the first minute, Three fifty. dollars That's a bell phone I got here in my house, a pay phone, for God. So I've been lazy, and, I, and now, you know, I tell my kids, shit has to happen to get you off your ass to go into another direction. So thank God, I said, Bell, thank you very much. I'm going to write a thank you letter to the CEO so we can't get in touch with the CEO. In fact, my business partner, uh, Steve Ritchie, was trying to find out, who do I get in touch with at Bell to tell him what's going on, the horrible service I'm getting? He couldn't even find anybody. I'm going to read you the letter, Steve. Said, Dave, I can't believe it. A billion-dollar public company. I can't figure out who the hell works there. He, he, he found one name, Alexander Graham Bell. That, I tried to get in touch with him. Can't even him turning over in his grave. So Jeff Hayes from, from Vancouver, I appreciate you trying to help me out. Still, still help me out. Still Talk to your friends. Do whatever you got to do. We got to let the word out. We got to put the word out because Jeff is my biggest fan. That's why I'm doing this blog for Jeff. But I got to tell you, a few days ago when, on Monday or Tuesday, I said, I got to get the hell out of here. Through Roger, I'm going to pay Bell and that's it. I, I did a blog. Bell won't take my money. And here's why. I called Bell. I said, hello, I'm David Bronstein. I'd like to pay this bill and get the hell out of there. They said, okay, well, we're the residential department. We're going to connect you to the business department. I said, all right. I'm holding on, holding on. They said the worst music when they put you hold on. I'm holding on. I'm holding. Finally, the business part comes on. They said, hello, what's your number? I said, didn't the other girl tell you what my number is? No, I need your number. Now, before I spoke to the other girl, the system says, punch in your number. So I punch in the number. Press one, press two, punch. I put in my number. The girl comes on and says, what's your number? I said, why did the system tell me? Well, 
asked for my number is if you're asking for one. I gotta give her my number. I give her my number. She connects me to the business department. So what's your number? Don't they talk there? Oh, what the hell? Don't they have a computer? They put. I give the business department my number. So what do you want? I said I want to pay my bill. She says great. I'll connect you to credit. I, I swear to you, I don't write this stuff. I'm a performer. I'm a producer. I'm not a writer. So I can't write this stuff. She connects me to the credit department. I'm holding on. I'm holding on. She goes, what's your number? Do you believe this? I said, I eight one, you eight one two. What the? Why aren't you all talking with each other? Wait, wait. I, I give her my number. I tell her to pay my bill. She says, terrific. I'll give you a collection. I'm telling you, this actually happened. I went from residential to business to credit to collection to finally pay my bill. Finally, I said, here's the credit card. Just pay the bill. Get the phone back on. I'm finished. I'm leaving. I hate your guts. That's it. I'm done. I said, but, but, but somebody told me on Friday that I had a credit for $242. And the girl said, oh, yes, you do have a credit for $200. I said, do me a favor. Apply the credit. She said, oh, no. We're not going to apply the credit. You pay us the whole money now, and we'll send you a check. <laughs> I said, if I had a credit, then why did you turn off the phone? Why did you just apply the credit? And then I paid it. And, oh, no. Give us the money. Give us the $500, and then we're going to send you the check for $200. I said, Take a thousand dollars. Take whatever you want. I've, I've had enough. This is too entertaining not to talk about. So I paid them the five hundred dollars. It was four hundred something, close to five hundred, whatever the hell it is. And they're gonna mail me the check, supposedly for two hundred dollars. They're not gonna. Die. I said, Andrea, you gotta get on. Time. Andrea said, my name's not on the account. I, I called. I said, put my wife's name on the account. Andrea. Put Andrea. She said, what's the name? I said, Andrea. And this is somebody with an accent. I said, Andrea. I thought I was talking to my in-laws. They're from Hungary. They, they've been living here fifty years. They still can't talk English. I said, Andrea. She said, how do you spell? I said, A is an apple. N is in Nancy. D is in, she said, hold on. A? <laughs> this is what they have working about Canada. Canada. They got this same image when they came over in 1900 off of Ellis Island. That's who they're hiring right now with the push carts. They, they, they can't have, I got to A? I said, I'll, I'll come over and I'll show you how to write. This is what I had to go through to get the phone turned back on. And then she says, well, now we turn the phone back on. We want a $300 deposit. I said, why do you want a $300 deposit? Well, because we turned the phone back off. We have to have a deposit now, 300 I said, you already have $200. Yeah, I'm not even giving you. Well, this is on top of the 200 Now we want 300 They come up with their own amounts. I said, well, I'm leaving, Bell. I'm, not, I'm, I'm canceling the service. I'm not going to do it. Oh, you can't? Okay, then don't worry about the $300. That's what she said. They make up their own rules because the CEOs who are sitting in the Bahamas or wherever the hell they are, they have no idea that the inmates are running the asylum. And that's why I do these crazy blogs. I like a schmuck. I've been paying an extra $1,000 or more a year to Bell Canada with my phone bill being $160 a month, $130, 120 that I've been paying. And meanwhile, Rogers wants to charge me $63. So I've been paying at least another 40 another maybe $80 a month or more, 50 to $80 a month every month that I didn't have to because I was too lazy to switch to another service provider. And now from Rogers, I can probably get a cheaper from another service provider because I'm too lazy because I just throw money at stuff. That's all I do. I just throw money. I said, hey, I got no time because time is everything to me because my, I'm a hedonist. I live for pleasure. I live to have fun. I live to read my Mad Magazine, to eat good restaurants, to go on vacations, and everything else. I just, I'll just take the money because I have no time to deal with the bullshit. This is entertainment. So, so this gives me a reason to talk. So I don't know how many more blogs I'll be doing because I'm leaving Bell and I got nothing else to talk about. <laughs> So go to DavidBronstein.com and say hello to my dear good friend, Jeff Hayes. If you have any problems, get in touch with Jeff Hayes. He's a great guy. He's still talking to his friends to figure it out. It could be a year and a half before something happens, but he's a good guy. We're going to do a lot of business together and make a lot of money. Maybe with Bell Canada. <laughs> Come on.